Now to start with cube and a cuboid, initially the first solid structure is a cuboid which we all know that is in the shape of a box. So when I draw a cuboid, it is in the shape of a box where this is length, this is width and this is height is how we understand the cuboid. Let's take a cuboid which is in the form of a box. As I can see here, this is a cuboid because it is exactly in the form of a box. A rectangular box which has each of the length is L and the breadth is B and the height is H together make the dimensions close to form a cuboid. Now in case of this cuboid, I identify two types of areas which I'm going to discuss here. Now in case of a cuboid, I have one is the lateral surface area or it is also called the curved surface area in case of curved objects and the total surface area is the total of the entire area of the box taken in any face or any angle of. What is the lateral surface area and how is it different from the total surface area is the biggest question out here. Now when I discuss about lateral surface area has its own definition. Say for example, I take a cuboid which has the length L and the breadth B and the height H as I taken L, B and H. For this box, I wanted to find the lateral surface area implies I want to find the area which is considered horizontally along the horizontal axis. So this is said to be the lateral surface area. The top and the bottom areas are not considered when we take the lateral surface area along the horizontal axis. Therefore, if I add this area with this and this and this, I get the entire lateral surface area. So therefore, initially to start with finding the front face of the area, which is this, is LH plus similar area of LH is exactly equal on the opposite side, which is also LH, is what I get for one part of the lateral surface area. Now coming to this, the other region of the lateral surface area is this, where this is B and this is H, as can be seen with B and H. Therefore. When I add this with this, I get two rectangles which are added where area of rectangle is base into height plus base into height which are separated on the two sides opposite to each other. So the lateral surface area is finally obtained, obtained to be 2LH plus 2BH which gives me 2H into L plus B is what I get the lateral surface area of a cuboid is 2H into L plus B. Now when it comes to the total surface area is nothing but the lateral surface area plus top surface plus bottom surface is how I understand the total surface area. So therefore since the total surface area is lateral surface area plus the top surface area and the bottom surface area, therefore I get this to be the lateral surface area is already obtained to be 2H into L plus B plus the top surface which is a rectangle with the length L and the breadth B as can be seen as L and B gives me length into breadth plus length into breadth one with the top and one with the bottom giving equal areas of rectangles on the top and the bottom. Therefore, when I simplify this further, I get this to be 2 H into L plus B plus 2 LB. Therefore, when I take 2 common, I get LB plus BH plus LH which gives me the area of the total surface area of the cuboid is 2 times of LB plus BH plus LH and the lateral surface area of a cuboid is 2H into L plus B is how I understand the 
LSA and TSA of a cuboid. Similarly, when I want to find the volume of cuboid, it is nothing but is always area of base into height, which gives me area of the base is LB and height is H. Therefore, area of base is length into breadth and the height is H. Therefore, volume is LBH unit cube and surface area is LSA with this and TSA with this unit square is how we understand the cuboid LSA, TSA and volume respectively. Now coming to the cube, what is a cube and how is a cube different from the cuboid? Now next comes the cube. What is the difference between a cube and a cuboid which are taken in its shape? In this case, we say that the cube and a cuboid have their own definitive meanings because in case of a cuboid, the length and the breadth and the height are with different dimensions. But in a cube, each of length, breadth and height are same. Therefore, in case of a cube where I have the figure in this manner where each of the length is L, L and L I have the cuboid reduces to a cube if L is equal to B is equal to H. Therefore, if I derive the formulas for cuboid then the respective formulas for cube would be nothing but when I substitute L equal to B equal to H. Therefore, let's see how we can derive the formulas for a cube with length, breadth and height, each being equal for a cuboid. So in this case, LSA of a cube is nothing but as similar as this, but 2H into L plus B, which on simplification gives me H and B are equal to L. So in place of H and B, I substitute L. So 2 times L plus L plus L, 2L into 2L, which is 4L square, is the lateral surface area of a cube. Just when I substitute B and H for L in the given formula for cuboid. Similarly, when I substitute for B and H as L in total surface area, let's see how I get a cuboid, a cube total surface area. So TSA is clearly 2 times of L into B is L square because I already have this to be B equal to L. So I get each of them as L square plus L square plus L square that is 6 L square. 3 times of 2 which is 6 L square. Therefore the lateral surface area is 4 L square and the total surface area is 6 L square. Each with their lateral and total surface areas. Similarly, let's see how the volume reduces when B and H are reduced for their volume. Therefore, my volume of Q is nothing but L times L times L because B and H are L. Therefore, this reduces to L times L times L which is L cube unit cube is how I get the volume of the cube. Therefore, a cuboid and a cube have their own respective formulae in with their respective dimensions, a cube and a cuboid as a solid structure.